Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make a window, a gothic window. I found a picture on Pinterest, which is this one here. Uh, it's a render. So I took this picture, I saved it and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag and drop it into ArchiCAD in ground floor. What I want to do is I want to scale it. So select the picture and type on the keyboard Ctrl K, then press OK. And I want to make it from this point to this point. I want to make it 15. So I'm typing R and 15. And now I want to make a circle. I'm going to documents and I'm making here an arch arch circle. I want to make it red to stand up in front of the drawing. So what I want to do is the half of 15 it's 7.5. So I'm gonna type R <coughs> 7.5 enter. So this is gonna be oh sorry. This is going to be our circle. I need to put it, I hope I put it in the right direction, but anyway, I think I should make it a little bit bigger because here it touches the end of our pet. So I'm going to make it bigger, only the circle. So what, what you want to do is you want to pick it, but not from those points you see there are four points not from if you pick it from the point you it gives you a menu here so no I don't need that I need to make a radial stretch so I need to make it a bit bigger what I'm gonna do I'm gonna holding shift I want to make it up to up to here. Okay. Yeah. What I want what I want to do is I want to see these lines better. So what I want to do is I'm going here, I'm clicking right and I'm picking here true line weight. Okay, so you can see that You now can see better the line. You see. Okay. And after this, I want to make the petals. So I'm gonna make only the end of the petals, and then I'm. Well, I'll show you. So what I can do, I can use a polyline or a spline, but I would like to use spline for this. So let's see. Uh, first, I want to make the middle and the so let's make it with yellow I don't know what I'm doing it just, just for some guides guidelines okay where are you right so this is supposed to be the middle of our circle And Ctrl Shift E to rotate it. I hope I can see the middle of this line. So if you go, if you without clicking, if you go near this point here, you can see the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it, and you can still see that line, which is the middle. Ctrl Shift E, and I'm rotating it. I'm rotate. I'm rotating another line. I need to make it another color, make them another color, let's see, pink, and now I want to make the petals, as I told you before, I'm going to move and spline, and I'm going to make this
okay uh, I selected what I just drew and you can edit this just so we can fit better and with this line selected I'm gonna press on the keyboard ctrl shift m to make a mirror ctrl shift m and I'm using this line as a guide and now I have this petal what next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna select these two lines well which is made with spline but these two splines and I'm gonna drag uh, this petal here down so with the Ctrl Shift M to make a mirror copy of a mirror copy Ctrl Shift M I'm using this center here and dragging on the right and I have now these this petal here and Because I couldn't see anymore, I needed to move the picture on the other story, so I'm clicking on the story that's below, and I'm sure I'm activating show as trace reference. Let's see. No. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna copy all I draw in here into everything I have left so I'm selecting okay and what I'm gonna do okay, I'm gonna rotate multiple copies but Ctrl Shift E I'm going on the 
center point. And again, Same thing I'm going to do with this. So Ctrl Shift M and Ctrl Shift M. Okay, now I'm going to copy back to the drawing so just so I can see if it's correct. So cut and copy it in the same place. So original location is let's see if I have draw everything I wanted. Well I could say profile to be so I'm going I'm going here let's see. Well I think I want have it like uh, like this this is gonna be a half so control shift control shift M two so kinda like this I wanna copy this so cut and now I'm going to design complex profile profile manager and I'm gonna make a new profile which I'm gonna make I'm gonna name profile 001 because I'm gonna use two or three I'm gonna see okay and now I'm gonna paste the fields I just copied This is going to be our middle. Okay. Don't need the true line. I'm going to rotate it like this. I'm going to work only on this half and then I'm going to mirror it there. So, what I saw. Okay. So, what I saw is that it has some shapes so I see okay I'm going back to edit I want to make it a third so let's go here at the snap guide and I'm picking division three okay now I can see I have three divisions because this one needs to be a bit bigger. So yeah, I'm just this point rounded. Okay, so this is gonna be our profile for the petals and I'm gonna make it a beam. I'm gonna okay, and I want to override the surface. I'm gonna make it glossy white and override. And I'm okay. Now I want to delete those ink lines I draw, which were for a guide. And I'm gonna go to B
Okay, and Good, now let's see what we made. Well, this is actually really pretty, as you can see. I'm gonna make a slab underneath to see it better this way. So. Oh my god, the pattern is so bad. <sighs> Let's make just one golden oak. Okay. You can do something more. You can do three, four, five to be more exact. But I did. Uh, I do like how it turned out. 